Okay, we're shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're rookies. Okay, no. So earlier today, I was on Reddit and I was on like the K-pop side of Reddit, and I came across an interesting thread, um, which was basically asking people like, what what are some traits that your favorite K-pop and non-K-pop artists have in common? So they said that compare the two and then do they trigger something in your brain that makes you think, yes, this is the one, and if so, what is it? And um, just to read their response and their post, because it was pretty thorough, like, <laughs> they really They're thought about this. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> so they said, outstanding, uh, outstanding ability to convey emotions through their melodies, a penchant for making cinematic music, noticeable self-improvement, versatility, and making art for themselves first. But first, we've got donuts. Donuts to eat from a really good donut spot. We were debating on going here or going to a different shop, but literally they have like a three-point rating online. And I was like, oh, like let me check the reviews for it, maybe. Let me read you some of these reviews. They're rough. One star. Ice cream cake freezer burnt and the shards of icicles throw out when eating. The picture shows the obvious burn on the sprinkles. How did they think this was okay? We threw the ice cream cake in the garbage. The sprinkles on the donut were rancid or contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow tasted like chemicals. It was totally sickening and soapy chemical taste that lingers after eating one sprinkle. We threw those donuts in the garbage and we're, <laughs> we're monitoring ourselves for illness. <laughs> for illness. <laughs> There's a definite lack of quality control and possibly health and safety. I will not be going back here. Let me, this is the picture they attach. It, that looks rancid. I thought they were maybe exaggerating as soon as they said monitoring ourselves for illness. But that actually no. doesn't. That if you guys scary. could see the details. No, that's, that's not even the worst one. The other comment that really got me, they were like, not, not too sure what happened when I was there. All I can say is I'm in shock. I walk in there and order hot chocolate and I was given cold broth milk. With a blue stir stick that made my milk blue. <laughs> the owner takes it back and remakes my froth and milk again. And I, <laughs> and I noticed that one of his fingers. What does it have? This blue? One of his fingers has a very, very long yellow nail on it. It's just so unappetizing. <laughs> it's just so unappetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, very disappointing experience. Um, what was it? Was imagine like, someone handing you a drink <laughs> <laughs> and their fingernail is so disgusting that it killed your appetite? They're like, nah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I love how she keeps saying frothed milk, but she wanted a hot chocolate. Yeah, anyway, okay. so that's why we came here instead. But we got, can you show them? Okay, I don't know what's inside this. This one's like a coconut one, and then this one's like a cherry fry cake, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay, back to the topics at hand, though. <clears throat> I'll read. I don't know if you want to start off, or I'll read you. I can read you some of the things that some other people said in response yeah, to read that me some of. The, wait, so just to reiterate, the question is what similarities do you like? Yeah, like what okay. are some common traits between K-pop artists and non-K-pop artists that, that you, you like? like? Yeah, kind of like what's the vibe that you look for in an artist? And so someone said, I like strong women, fierce or sexy concept like Beyonce or and her during her Sasha Fierce era. Close to that is K-pop in, in K-pop is Mama Moo, especially Hwasa, Hyuna or Ailee. I really love strong vocals like Christina Aguilera, so Lena Park, IU, Wendy, Taeyeon. I has strong vocals like that? She can sing like surprise. Christina? Um, I would compare her to Ariana. Oh, okay. Yeah. And like um she doesn't look like she can really get down. <laughs> get down? No, but she can. Like IU is like best I like singer. her songs, but they're all very like soft toned. Like, they are super soft. But maybe that's just her style. I think that's her style number one and it's her look. 
Yeah. Like I true. think they try and match the the whole package together, but she, when she wants to, like she can sing. Yeah. Um, which I guess makes sense for someone with like, you know, really far into their career. Mm-hmm. Um, someone else said cohesive soundscapes like. Aespa, DPR Eden, NCT, Red Velvet, or Somi, and then they compared that to Olivia Rodrigo, T- Troy Sivan, Arctic Monkeys, um, and Bruno Mars. Soundscape as in like they have a particular sound and when you hear it you know it's them? Yeah, I think soundscape is like the collection of like the production, the vocals, like the right. art. Yeah, right. like that. I, I think that I think that's a fair comparison. Um, yeah, I mean... People- I agree, because I was going to say, I mean, I'm not, I don't know all those people's music catalogs, but um, what I was going to say before, and that just reminded me of it, I like how K-pop and Western artists, like, not, they don't all do it, but the ones that do, it's like the same thing. I really like, like, a really strong, cohesive theme album rollout. I love that, too. Like, I really love how for, I don't know, Sweetener, it was like... The, Sweetener era. Yeah, Sweetener era was a particular era, and I feel like K-pop idols do that more. Like, each album has its own theme, which, Mm. you know, could be seen as corny if you keep dropping it and doing a new one. But I I don't mind it. I just, I think it's like a full creative Mm -hmm. process, and I Mm -hmm. think it's fun to have that. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at the same time, don't get me wrong, I... Like, for example, I don't think someone like Bruno Mars does that, but his albums bang, obviously. Obviously, he's a hit maker. But it's like, you know, sometimes it's just fun to have a theme that you can participate in. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think it's also good for, like, memories. Like, I think, like, looking back on, like, this era, and it's, like, such a particular era, like, that's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, A lot of other people didn't really specify particular artists, but they were just saying, like, oh people that are really passionate and really invested in the entire creative process um someone else said mama moo and little mix which i thought was literally her that's literally her um they were like no doubt both have great vocals and dancing abilities wonderful engaging stage presence and strong independent woman vibes which yeah listen no wonder they're my ult (laughs) I love Little Mix. I feel like they never got the credit that they deserved here. I feel like they were always diminished to, like, a little child girl group. Mm-hmm. LM5 was a phenomenal album. Uh, their albums are actually and so good that, like, you think, like, oh, looking back on it, like, it's not going to be... No, they hit every single yeah, they, time I go back on it. I'm like, oh, shit. They like, don't sound that dated. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what They're I mean? They're always like, good. Sometimes you go back to an album and you're like, oh, that sounds like that year. And theirs don't. But I feel like mm-hmm. because, one, they were kind of like on the One Direction come up, so they kind of got dismissed. Mm-hmm. And then if you know, you know, which... Unless you're a mixer, you probably don't, but they had, like, a shitty-ass label that was very restrictive and stuff. Yeah. Um, and did not, like promote them and back them as much as they should but then even for between us like they only had three or four new songs on it because it was just like a hits album the new songs were fucking great they were like eclectic and sound and like they were just they were sick leanne's music pops off i'm not gonna talk about jesse personally um (laughs) and i know jade is gonna come out with a banger and then perry Jade really kills Perry. me with her TikToks, even though she's Jade, not making music like, right now. Like, she's fucking hilarious. You know that girl, like, I said, like, Leanne's meant to be a pop star. Like, Jade has that, like, she's, I'm meant to be I famous. Like, <laughs> she, she would make a video to that audio, too. Like, yeah, she is, that's I love style. Jade's personality. But I always did say, every time I would watch a Mama Moo video, I was like, they remind me of Little Mix. Like, even they're if they're li- not, they sing live. They sing live. You can tell that they like the music they're doing, and you can tell that they like the performances that they're doing. Yeah. Um, and it is and that that strong, independent woman vibe. Like they're not yeah. like trying to be like girly and cute all the time, or like. And I've heard stories know. from both groups where they've been presented songs or stages, and they're like, "We're not f- doing that. <laughs> like, we're just not gonna do we're it. We're not doing that. No, see, because I'm just you got like, the wrong bitch." <laughs> Which, you know, I feel like, in theory, like, people can sit here and, like, even us, we can be like, that's so easy, like, that's so blah, blah, blah. But when you're attached to a label and they have investments in you, Mm -hmm. like, especially as women, I feel like that takes a lot of nerve to be like, I'm not singing that. Yeah. Like, get that shit out of... (laughs) My face! Yeah, basically. 
<laughs> um, okay, pause. Sure. Oh, this is dense. Yeah. This is literally a brick for a house. <laughs> um, Close up, mukbang. The, the washout of <laughs> the it. The washout. Focus! <laughs> uh, this, I could never be a mukbanger. Oh my god, that looks so Ooh, pretty inside. Like bright red, bright pink. Okay, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go without me! Fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. I love cherry things. Which? Mm. It tastes like a sour cream donut, but cherry. Right? You already spilled on your shirt. <laughs> Not eat without spelling. Super fluffy. Yeah. Oh my god, their donuts bang. Okay, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Um, okay, so do you want to start off with who you think? Or like what traits do you think you look for in artists that you kind of see like both in K pop and non K pop? Like what draws me to an artist? Mm. First and foremost, skill. I can't even lie. Like, I know there's some people that they're just into, like... And when I mean, like, performer and skill, I'm talking about if you're gonna... If you're making music, I'm sorry, but I expect you to be able to sing. <laughs> and sing live. And then dancing is whatever. Like, I know some people, they're okay with, like, the lip syncing and then the dancing. and Because they're serving face and they look hot. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, I can... That's its own thing. But in terms of what's going to make me want to stand someone, like, yeah. you better be able to put the mic down and let me hear you sing, mm. you know? Mm. Like, I'm not here for... I almost said some names, but we're not going to go down. Say, we're not going to go down she's, that road. She's holding back names. Guys, the way... <laughs> no, at story time. The way some people are so fucking vicious online... I made some comments in a video <gasps> saying some things. I won't repeat what I said because I don't want to get crucified. <laughs> but it was a video of both of us. And literally only I was saying, like only I was talking, only I was saying stuff. <laughs> you ever seen that, that, that video by Jonah from David Dobrik's vlogs? What the fuck was that about, huh? What's up, you fat pig? What, you don't see where you're fucking going? I wasn't even driving. <laughs> don't shut the fuck up, you fucking piece of bacon. <laughs> what the? Why'd I get picked up? <laughs> Memeing in the, that, that little car skip, that is real. Because tell me why we were getting fucking comments. Basically, she was dogging on someone, and the comments were all directed at me. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, fatty, how does it feel to be hated on? And I was like, bitch, I wasn't even like, the one talking. <laughs> end of the clip i didn't speak the whole clip the very end i was defending her yeah she was i was like, defending the girl she was like, that she was dogging like, on benefit of the doubt mm -mm. okay <laughs> okay girl <laughs> society hates fat people <laughs> second thing if i'm watching performances i really want to see you enjoy performing mm. like i want to look like you like being on the stage mm -hmm. even if you don't at least you look like it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, because Think it, bitch. Like, I think someone like Doja Cat, right? Like, we kind of talked about it yeah. a bit before. But it's like, you know, when it came kind of out of the blue of like, she's like, I hate this life. I'm, I don't want to do this anymore, blah, blah. I was like, I could never tell because you were eating every time you stood mm -hmm. on a fucking stage. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and like i feel like when people don't want to be performing or they're too exhausted or what there's like a million reasons they could look tired of being on the stage but it shows in their performance mm -hmm. i agree with and that. that just takes me out of it completely like it, if you, you don't want to be on there i don't want to watch you be on the stage you, it, it makes you lose the um what's it called like um, you know when you get immersed in watching a person perform it like breaks you out of it because mm -hmm. you're like ugh you know what i mean so then who are some artists that you think 
have both of those traits in K-pop and non-K-pop. Personally, first, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Listen, everyone that knows me is tired of me talking about her, but I genuinely think For she real. does not get on a stage unless she wants to be there. Mm -hmm. And when she does, she's giving 200%. Mm -hmm. She's giving 500%. Yep. Like, I'm not even going to talk about the quality because there's no one alive right now mm -hmm. that comes close to her. No one. Mm-hmm. I, I like I also get what people were saying when they were comparing her to Huasa and stuff like that, but I yeah. just feel like Beyonce's on her own level. Yeah, I think it's more of fair, fair comparison is Little Mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do like Mama Moo. Like I do like them. I also mm. like Twice. Yeah. Um, I think that you know, granted they are a bigger group, so it's a little easier to get away with like mistakes. And if someone's not really yeah. into it, you know, your eyes just go to someone else. Um, but I, I like the music and I also think like a lot of the members personally, I like Gio and I think mm -hmm. Gio always looks like she wants to be on stage. Yeah. She's, she's got a killer voice. Mm -hmm. She's, she's a fucking beast with her dance and mm -hmm. that bitch is always happy to be on stage. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. And she's always serving face no matter like if it's supposed to be sexy, her if it's supposed to be sweet, if it's supposed to be like emotional, like she always like plays that part. Do you know and what I mean? I think like, she, she plays a part right. And I think she's also really good when, even if it's not her part of the song, she's still serving face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that's the thing in a group, especially with, how many is it? Is that nine? Nine. Nine girls. You know, like, if it's not your part of the song and you're in the back or whatever, you kind of just, like, <laughs> drop your face for a beat. <laughs> she does not. Yeah. And I like, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. Um. For me? Yeah, go. Um. For me, I'm going to say people that have a unique sound and people that are versatile, mm -hmm. which I think two people that have both are BTS, obviously, like they will always be on top. And I think Ariana, like Ariana is the type, like there's, a, there's, a, I think it's Namjoon, and there's a funny video of him where he's like, or it's, like, an interview or something, and they're, like, oh, BTS does, like, all these different genres. And he's, like, yeah, the genre is BTS. <laughs> like, facts. Like, they can do all these, like, different types of sounds, but it's still, like, you can Their still sound. recognize that it's them because they have such, like, a unique yeah. voice and a unique sound. So I love when you can, like, tell who you're listening to, mm -hmm. but still be able to switch it up. Switch yeah. it up for every era. You you know it's funny with Ariana you say that because I've always thought that because I've been a fan of her since um like before her first album came out like I was a huge huge fan like I watched all her live streams like to the point when it was like she would shout out comments and her brother would call fans on the phone and he called and that me was my a friend. crazy time period I've talked to Frankie Grande on the phone okay be jealous <laughs> And I literally was like, it was. They're, they'll right never do before, that again. They'll never do that. <laughs> it was right before the way came out, and I was like, I and I was graduating grade eight, like elementary school, and I was like, I promise when the song comes out, I'm gonna request it at my grade eight dance, as if he gave a shit that it was playing at a grade eight dance. <laughs> and I did request it. And it did play. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like, and she said it where she kind of like played into the pop theme. Because she's always loved yeah. R&B or whatever. And I genuinely feel like that's why I love positions. Sonically, mm. like, I can listen to it beginning to end fine. But personally, Sweetener is my favorite album. Because mm. I just think that that's, like, almost like a... Sweetener and Positions, to me, are, like, hints into the music she really wanted to make. But um, the how you're saying, like, she's versatile. Mm. Like, Sweetener does not sound like Positions, but, and I know a lot of people are like, uh, skip Borderline, skip Blaze, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I'm like, listen, you either get it or you don't get it. The girls that get it, get it. Yeah. Girls that don't. That Sorry. album is so particular to her. Mm. Um, and I wonder if she'll ever make another album like that. Because don't get me wrong, Dangerous Woman, My Everything, and Yours Truly are great. But they are like classic, like pop R&B, yeah. like more pop even mm. um but yeah i i like that about her mm. and funny enough i think i almost mentioned her before too but i also think that um 
Ariana, like, she loves to sing live, but I don't think she necessarily loves performing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think she loves the act just because... You know, I've watched a couple of interviews and stuff, and she always talks about how she's not super into, like, the pop star life. Like, if she could just sing in a, ro a dark room by herself for the rest of her life, she, she would. She does give that. I think she really likes the creative process of making music, um, which, you know, I also like that, too. Yeah. I don't know many K-pop artists, though, too. Or I don't know their discographies enough. Funny enough, actually... I'll give NCT credit because I know a lot of people dog on their songs. Really? Is that a thing? Mm. Because they have they have such a particular sound. Like, I've showed you some of their songs. NCT? Well, I mean, I know they have, like, their subgroups, but let's just mm. say NCT 127 because those are the songs I know. Yeah. But, like, Sticker. Yeah. Or, um, Two Baddies. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, I have to respect that they have such a sound that yeah. is theirs which is hard in k-pop especially i feel like super hard and i'm like how do you guys like i have to feel give them credit that they're kind of the original ones doing that particular sound where it's almost like yeah you know first listen you're not gonna like it you just know and then after a couple of listens you're like i guess they knew better <laughs> you're like i guess maybe i'm kind of getting into it Shit. Like, yeah <laughs> the other thing is that i find with k-pop artists well this isn't a similarity that i find a lot of k-pop and western artists do but k-pop artists completely bank on the relatability yeah like they really play into i'm not even gonna go into the boyfriend girlfriend thing because i think that's mad corny and it just well, doesn't you, benefit well, wait, anyone explain explain what you mean by that because i feel like so it's like people. boyfriend girlfriend concepts where it's like girl groups cater to male audiences being like I'm your girlfriend. I'm your like, girlfriend. Yeah, picture me as your girlfriend. Yeah. And then same thing with guys to girls. But then, you know, you turn 22 and then you want a girlfriend and all of a sudden she's being <laughs> abused online if anyone ever finds out. I don't think that benefits anyone. Yeah, um, for But real. I do think the fact that they can have fans before they even drop music sometimes. Mm. Like, it's just the fact that people are like, oh, I like this person. I want them to do well. Yeah. Which I think is impressive. And I don't think... A l I think Western artists are leaning more towards that now. Mm. Um, which is good and bad because I feel like it kind of distracts from talent in a way. You know it what I mean? It does because it starts to be less important. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, you have people like Chloe and Normani and... I, I can't remember who else, but they're all talking about how... If you don't have a million followers on social media, good luck trying to get support from your label. Good luck trying to drop yeah. an album. Like, you have to come into the game with supporters at this point. Because yeah. there's people that do that. They already have a fan base, and then they're like, oh, I want to make music, and I know for sure people will support me. Yeah. Isn't that kind of insane? Yeah. But also kind of, like, the name of the game. You Nowadays. Because, I mean? like, I feel like it's like that with everything. Nowadays. Yeah crazy um but yeah those were our thoughts if you guys have any k-pop artists and non-k-pop artists or traits that you look for that you think are similar let us know <laughs> okay bye <laughs>